Hi, I'm Jane Farnham, TV presenter and interior designer. I'm working with Terry's Fabrics to help you get the best out of your home improvements. In this series of short videos, we aim to take the issues our customers tell us that they're having with decorating and DIY and provide easy to follow, helpful solutions. Sliding or folding patio doors can present a challenge in terms of window dressing options, as can wide casements or multiple windows taking up all or most of the wall. Here you need to think carefully about where the curtains will hang when the window or door is open. Often, if the window does take up most of the wall space, there is little room to either side of the window for curtain fabric to stack back onto, and curtaining can be difficult, as there will be a lot of fabric to store at the sides of the window. If this is the case, avoid thick fabrics and ornate or heavily gathered headings that will create bulk or make the window appear squat or top-heavy. Consider lightweight or sheer fabrics, which have less body, and therefore less volume. Foils mounted inside the recess, for example, will soften the look of the window, provide a good degree of daytime privacy, and diffuse strong sunlight to protect valuable furniture and furnishings, but with minimal bulk or volume. Consider where the voils will sit when they are open, though. For sliding doors, a single curtain open to one side would be the norm, and on doors opening from the centre of the window, a pair of voils which part in the centre and stack at each side of the window would be preferable. If you prefer to use a more robust curtain in fabric to add warmth to coordinate a colour scheme and add some pattern, or just provide a greater degree of privacy, then consider installing full drawing or decorative dress curtains over functional voils or blinds. Dress curtains are intended to look like full working curtains, but are not actually used. They are there simply for aesthetic purposes, to dress the window, and therefore do not need as much volume in their width as a working curtain. This naturally reduces the amount of stack back space required. They can be fitted, as illustrated here, on a full pole, which spans the full width of the window to give the impression that the curtains will close. Or you can make a feature of the fact that they are there simply to dress the window by installing them on part poles to emphasise that fact. Here they have been mounted in such a way over functional Venetian blinds. Venetians can be used in this way if the windows or doors are static, if there is enough room to mount the blinds inside the recess for sliding doors, or if they are fitted directly onto windows or doors that open outwards. This arrangement would, however, not be advisable on doors or windows which open inwards due to clearance and operating issues. If you're a fabric person, however, and you prefer to have working curtains at your windows, then here are some options to consider. Eyelet, also sometimes known as ring top heading, creates slim folds or columns of fabric which push back easily into neat, deep pleats. And as this heading does not require gathering, little or no bulk is created, which gives them a reduced stack back volume. This makes them an ideal choice for wide windows, as the volume of fabric required for full working curtains can usually be accommodated at either side of the window. In addition, the fullness ratio is only one and a half times the window width, rather than the double allowance usually required by gathered or tailored headings. Detailed tailored headings such as goblets and pinch pleats are best avoided in this situation. Their headings are naturally bulky as they contain a robust stiffener and padding and these headings require an increased fullness ratio of two and a quarter to two and a half times the rail width. Here the pole has been extended wall to wall to make use of all the available wall space at either side of the window. 
This not only means that the minimum amount of curtain as possible encroaches onto the window, keeping the doorway and in particular the opening panel easily accessible, but it also gives an expansive look to the window. This effect can be quite impressive as it can create grandeur or, at the very least, an eye-catching focal point. Here the concept has been taken a step further with the addition of a simple straight upholstered pelmet. This look is elegant and sophisticated and again creates an impressive focal point. This arrangement works well in quality plain fabrics or can look stunning with bold and lively prints. The curtains are hung from a track and have a gathered heading, but the bulk is accommodated by the increased stack-back space created by again extending the arrangement from wall to wall. Neat metal holdbacks have been used here to gently pull the leading edge of the curtains off the window, allowing maximum light into the room and easy access to the handle of the sliding door. The holdbacks are carefully positioned near to the edge of the recess. If they were positioned any further back, they would pull the curtain back too far and reveal the edge of the window. Similarly, if they were positioned any further forward, they would have little or no effect on the front edge of the curtain. Fabric or rope tiebacks are not recommended with a volume of fabric like this, as they would pull the curtains back beyond the edges of the recess to show undesirable wall space and in some cases may cause creasing across the curtains if they are too tight. Well, I hope you found this video useful. There are more guides and lots more information on the Terry's Fabrics website. And if you're looking for inspiration, try clicking on the On Trends section where you'll find lots of useful tips and advice from seasonal fashions to useful products.